Today I want to talk to you about a company called Anti Gear Co. I have had their products as part of my EDC off and on again since I started this journey. And it is actually probably Randy at Anti Gear that probably got me down this path when I reached out to him initially and asked him if he would create a holster design that would allow to have the same size on both. He's like, yeah, I'll take a look. I'll, I'll make that happen for you. And you know what? He did. He made it happen. And I realized in that moment that the everyday carry community is much more inclusive and much friendlier to personalization than I ever realized. And it was actually kind of the beginnings of understanding how important it is to communicate within the community. So I want to say a big thank you, first of all, before I start this, to Randy at Antigear. Thank you, brother. So we have two full sets. Now, he, he was graciously donating two full sets of his modular wallet system. So he has this the anti-wallet, which actually has a metal bar and has clips as well, two, comes with two, that will allow you to put some keys in one of the two elastic slots. And I've done that, and I have pictures of myself doing that. I have found that for keys, I don't like it as much because I, uh, my combination that I use, and this is actually what I'm carrying today, is a combination of the holster and the Velcro panel, and I'll get to that in just a second. But the ability for someone to condense all the way down to having the keys and wallet in one place, fantastic. And unlike most minimalist wallets, you can actually store cash in a bifold system inside. You don't actually have to triple fold the cash. Something that I really, really loved about the anti-wallet and it's why I still, to this day, carry the anti-wallet from time to time. I really enjoy it. I also like that no matter how big I make it, because it's elastic, it kind of spreads out in my pocket. It makes it much more comfortable to use. And so I'm very, very happy with that. The holster is designed to carry a flashlight. And in most cases, like you could see here, if there's another smaller container, this was set up for something along the lines of a bullet pen or a polka pen, something along those lines of being a short pen. Uh, I know Zebra makes one as well. There's a lot of them that are, sh that are short like that, like they call them EDC pens, and they're fantastic. Now for me, the EDC pen I have is built into my Victorinox manager. So I actually have that when I need it. And only recently did um, companies start making small enough notebooks that you could even fit inside this. So two companies make them right now. One is Right in the Rain. This is their OTG, it just came out recently. And the other one is by Pokepen that they're calling the Micro Micronotes. But either way, both of them will work perfectly in this setup. So now I have flashlight, multi-tool, knife, pen, you know, the whole shebang. I even have a spot for Velcro panel that has bits for my pry bar. So it's pretty damn awesome what's going on with this. I'm very, very happy with it. So I I really enjoy the Antigear wallet. I love that it's made in the U.S. I love the who it's made by. You know, I know uh, Randy is tries his best to hire veterans in his area where he where he makes goods and this is not his only company either they have a storefront over there as well so definitely check out anti -Gear Co. i think you'll be really really pleased i think for what it is which is a modular wallet system not only is it really inexpensive it's just really flexible it's incredibly flexible you can build it any way you want as big or as small as you want it to be so we will have a choice if you if you when you can choose the red variant variations which has the same thing as these three but it'll come with a velcro panel pocket a holster which is set up for the pen and flashlight and it will come with the anti-wallet with the full keychain um, system built in so I hope you guys will take a look at that. I'll put the information at the very end. And I'll also put a link to uh, Randy's page over at Antigear Co. in the description. So you guys have a good one, all right?